unfortunately the the measures which have been adopted in the last few months or in the last few weeks uh, the election itself is losing the credibility because uh, you know one of the major political party is practically out of these elections so to have a credible election without a major political party uh, you know uh, always questionable इस वक्त तक तो वो पोजीशन नहीं है जो पिछले इलेक्शन में थी कि वो रातों को देर देर तक काम हो रहा है बल्कि 24 घंटे ही काम हो रहा था इस वक्त तो हम तो सात आठ बजे बंद करके घर चले जाते हैं कोई इतनी गहमा गहमी भी अभी तक इलेक्शन की नज़र नहीं आ रही है दो तीन बातें उसकी ये हैं कि अभी तक लोग कश्मकश में हैं कि इलेक्शन होंगे नहीं होंगे former prime minister imran khan is disqualified facing trial but his his political his party is also you know practically out of the election race because uh, they have uh, disallowed their election symbol so practically we are uh, instead of improving uh, we are uh, going from bad to worse सबसे पहले तो सबसे ये ये है कि भाई जो बेसिक नीड है ना हमारी वो है तालीम और सेहत और दोनों ही शोबे बहुत नेगलिजेंसी का शिकार है पाकिस्तान के अंदर हम किसी भी शोबे की बात कर लें कि सेहत और तालीम ये बुनियादी चीज़ें हैं इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पर काम होना चाहिए पानी का मसला हल होना चाहिए और दूसरा एंटरटेनमेंट एंटरटेनमेंट पब्लिक के पार्क्स हो गए पब्लिक के एंटरटेनमेंट के जो मौाक़ हैं वो बढ़ें और ऑब्वियसली सेहत और तालीम वगैरह तो बेसिक नीड्स हैं उनका तो जिक्र बिल्कुल ऑक्सीजन की तरह है जिक्र करना भी ज़रूरी नहीं है वो तो होने ही चाहिए यहाँ पे हमारा आवाम की तरक्की के लिए Okay, so I think it's absolutely important for us to engage with what 60, 70 percent of our population under the age of 35, um, and uh, because I am also young myself, I think there's a lot of ability uh, to relate there, uh, and at the same time, our policies, our agenda that we have. that i launched earlier today i think addresses many of the issues that affect uh, young people all across the country yeah. um but um that's it and i would prefer uh to form a pakistan people's party led government with independent politicians you know lots of independent politicians probably the highest in our history are taking part in uh, the coming elections um aside from that i think unfortunately uh, 
both the Muslim League and the Tariq and Saf have proved that they are two sides of the same coin. The faces change, but the policies stay the same. And this is something that we learned as a result of the devastating floods uh, that I experienced firsthand, we experienced firsthand here in Sindh and across the country, that what we propose is to completely restructure Pakistan's development model, uh, putting the threat of climate change front and center. We are facing a perfect storm of crises. Um, the economic crisis that we're facing is one of the worst in our history. Um, the security challenges that we're facing uh, risk pushing Pakistan back uh, to the far more difficult uh, um, uh, 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 far more difficult time when we used to have terrorist attacks every other day across the country. Uh, and um, as far as uh, the geopolitical challenges in this part of the world is concerned, uh, they, uh, they, 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 you know, that, that poses a whole other set of, of challenges. And within that context, uh, I don't think we have time to waste uh, on uh, politics as usual.